Welcome to February's Diabetes Technology Report. In this video, I'll get you up to speed on what happened in the diabetes technology world over the last month. And this includes ATTD Advanced Technologies and Treatment for Diabetes Conference happened in Berlin. I was there and oh my God, a lot has happened. I got to see how solo patch pump works. Dexcom said this. Where do we go next after G6? Well, uh, G7, of course. More on that later. Also, Dexcom G6 is now approved in Canada. Roche extended a distribution agreement with Sensonics, so Roche will continue to distribute the Eversense implantable system in Europe, Middle East, and Africa. FD approved first iPomp, T Slim X2. Metronix 6 Entity has been commercially launched in Australia. This, and also let's talk about this new tiny pill pump that in the future might inject your insulin directly in your stomach. This, and so much more, is coming your way. Diabetes technology, artificial pancreas, implantable CGMs, insulin pens, closed loop systems. We are not waiting. Now, just before we get to our tech update things, um, if you watch my videos regularly, you know that I usually have my live blood glucose level here. Now, the reason why it's not here today um, my Dexcom stopped working about 20 minutes ago, it just says signal loss, which sometimes happens. Um, and so I, I don't have any more time to wait, so I just thought I will get this beautiful picture from Google of this beautiful alpaca. <laughs> so so that's why my glucose is not here today. Um, just if you are interested, I am 7.3 and stable, just in case you're interested, yeah. So let's start with the biggest diabetes technology event of the year, ATTD. Now, just before I start, I want to say a huge thank you to Rush Diabetes Care for inviting me to the bloggers event and ATTD. Um, I've got a vlog video coming, so um, if you're interested, stay tuned. That's going to be on my YouTube channel in a week, maybe two weeks, so stay tuned. So I got to see the newest patch pump from uh, Rush called AcuCheck Solo. So I press and hold. That was the sign I can now program and I go one, two, three, four, five. Now I wait. Was it five? Yeah. Okay, I press one more time. And this D D D D D that tells me now the boss actually starts running. <laughs> Love this. And since the pump delivers with two units per minute, I have to talk now for 30 seconds. And the insulin is now in your body. More details on that pump in the vlog. Also, Dexcom announced some very exciting updates to their G6. I am very excited to see Dexcom releasing, in my opinion, significant software updates to an existing product because they usually they tend to do that with a new product launch. So they announced following updates. Share app, basically the entire share app is refreshed. You will be able to have up to 10 followers on share. Share app has a brand new look and it looks a lot like the actual Dexcom app. Also, Dexcom G6 will support Siri shortcuts. And basically, uh, program their voice, and all they have to do is say, Hey Siri, what is my glucose? And Siri will repeat back glucose value and trend. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you know that DIY community already has this solution, and it's great to see this DIY idea becoming more mainstream. Also, Dexcom's chief technology officer said this about direct Apple Watch integration. Why? And the reason that it has taken a period of time has been we really want to get the user experience right with this new feature. And what it means is that a patient can leave their cell phone behind, walk away from it, and if they have an enabled watch, they can get their readings in real time on the Apple Watch. And said this about Dexcom G7. Where do we go next after G6? Well, uh, G7, of course. <laughs> In collaboration with our partners at Verily, we're developing the new G7 system, which is an entirely new platform for continuous glucose monitoring. And last Dexcom update during ATTD, Dexcom announced G6 approval by Health Canada. Dexcom is planning to commercially launch G6 in late 2019. Also at ATTD, Eversense announced new insertion device for the Eversense implantable CGM. Updated design improves the insertion process and ensures optimal depth and length of the pocket. More exciting footage from my trip to Berlin coming in my ATTD vlog. 
my Dexcom is working. Okay, so now some eye pump news. So T Slimix 2 is now officially classified as a alternative controller enabled infusion pump or ACE. As always, I will try to explain this in the easiest way possible. So ACE pump works on the same plug and play principle as ICGM. So I like to explain this with Bluetooth headphones. So you know like your Bluetooth headphones, because they Bluetooth, every single device, every single phone uses the same communication, so you can plug the same pair of headphones to many phones. Well, this is the principle of the I think, so like ICGM and iPump or ACE pump. So the idea is that in the future, because it is now a ACE pump, you will be able to plug that pump to different sensors, to different um, algorithms. If you want some details, there are two amazing blog posts on this news, one by Tidepool and one by Diabetes Mind. Check them out. Links in video description. Now some Eversense news. Implantable CGM sensor has received indication for MRI from American FDA. This means that you can leave sensor in place even during an MRI. CEO of Sensonic said, quote, all of the CGMs currently on the market are required to be removed before an MRI scan, according to FDA regulations. This is a first for a CGM category. For specific information about this update, please check for a press release available in video description. Another Eversense new Sensonic announced two-year extension of its distribution with Roche Diabetes Care. In addition, the agreement has been expanded to provide Roche with exclusive distribution rights in 17 additional countries, including Brazil, Russia, India, China, as well as selected markets in the Asia Pacific and Latin America regions. Metronic News Metronic 670G has been commercially launched in Australia. 670G is a closed loop system, so give me more insulin when I'm high, give me less insulin when I'm low system. Some smart pens news. Nova Nordisk announced that new pens will integrate with Freestyle Libre system. This will allow Libre users to see data about injections from disconnected pen in Libre Link App and Libre View. Abbott joins long list of Nova Nordisk partners. Currently, Nova Nordisk has partnerships with Dexcom, Glyco, and Rush with My Sugar. I actually got a chance to see this new connected pen at ATTD, and this is how it works with Glyco. So you just put the uh, pen on the phone and then the upload starts. Oh my god. Yeah. And then uh, the pen doesn't know which kind of insulin is inside. Okay. So you need to, cha to, to choose that. So let's say it was kind of a uh, transceiver. Yep. And then you're done. And lastly, let's talk about this research project. So this is called Micro Needle Insulin Pill Concept. It's a collaboration between various research facilities and Novo Nordisk. It's basically a pill that injects insulin to your stomach. At this point, we have no idea if this is something that will eventually be commercialized and be an actual product. Uh, but I just think it's very, very interesting. And let me know in the comments, would you want this tiny insulin pump pill? Would you, would you, would you want to use it to have your injection? I mean, I guess absorption would be excellent because it would be right inside you. Um, I don't know. I think I would definitely try it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And that was your February's Diabetes Technology Report with me, Neurodiabetic. Now, just before I go, I just want to say huge congratulations to all Diabetes Oscars winners. Now, in case you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm sure you're familiar with Oscars, you know, the nominations and things. Now, Diabetes Oscars is this fantastic project by Diabetes Mind, and they kind of nominate and, and select kind of the winners. And I think it's very, very fun. Um, so if you want to see all of the winners, I'm going to put a link, obviously, in description. Most exciting new diabetes tech, um, the implantable ever since won that one. And if you want to check it all, I'm just looking on my computer. Um, if you want to check it all, uh, please um, check video description. So that was it. Thank you so much for watching. And I see you in about, I guess, week. I mean, I'm updating my, I'm, I'm editing my video, but um, it's taken a little longer than I originally anticipated. But I see you in my uh, Berlin ATTD vlog. So that's it from me. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye. G7, of course. <laughs> Love this. Oh my god. Yeah. These, most of these were.